There's still some OGs left from that first Warriors team, including Mikey Teo, who will send this one skyward to get us underway. If somebody ever comes up to you and says they showed up to the one Sabercat match over the past four years that Windsor was not in the starting lineup, uh, you call that person a liar. <laughs> 43 consecutive starts for Windsor. He is Major League Rugby's all-time leading scorer now with 424 points. Zachary Short get the start, feeding the scrum last weekend. The USA Eagle, Boyer. He's doing a good job able to get hands up there to Luke, knock that one away. Luke Beecham able to help recover that ball, the pride of Brisbane, Australia. Yep. Houston doing a good job, well organized defensively, stringing things out, able to get there in time. Crusade unable to find that alley to skirt through. And that's going to be a knock on. Houston working with an advantage here. Solvera, part of the team of the week. One weekend to go for all of his work in the scrum. That time with some solid hands. Windsor. Oh, wide open spaces. Looking to delight the home crowd. Dickie Dickie Lottie makes it 5 0, Houston. The Fijian national team and the 24-year-old Veramu Diki Diki Lati. You see the turnover there. Houston moving quickly after Fisher gave it to the men in yellow and black. And Windsor always has a head up, always in the right place. But at this time, it was Diki Diki Lati. Williams just stumbled, and that was the difference between Diki Diki Lati getting in untouched. Utah. Nicely done, Tiki Tiki Lottie just found it. And there was space at the blind side. It was he and Lance Williams. On, Williams just left. losing his footing. Let's pass back in. Houston up early. The Warriors with a bye next week in round 16. And then it's at home, their final two matches against the top two teams in the league. The top team of the Eastern Conference, Atlanta, heads up there to Zion's Bank in round 17. And then LA up to the Beehive Stadium round 18. Tail to Williams, Boyer tries to intervene. The Warriors though will find the answer on the opposite end. Josh Whippy with the punctuation. Nick Boyer was the last chance to put a halt to this one. The scrum half almost intervenes. And that's what Tao's able to do. So Tao inside, all these people there, everyone focusing on Tao. Gets it through, another pass out. You take another look. Basket to Teo. All the focus on the USA Eagle. Gets it to Williams, a beautiful offload from Lance Williams. And then an outstanding pass from Bailey Wilson, the youngest captain in Major League Rugby. Whippy, all he has to do is dot it down. Shoulder. And now a second advantage to play. Wait for the signal. And it is a try. Shoulder. Yellow. Leonard's going in at the shoulder, shoulder, not wrapping up. Jeremy Leonard's seen yellow. Houston will be down a man the first 10 minutes of the second half. Five. Nick Boyer back in here for the closing moments Six. at scrum half for the defensive effort. Three meters. Casca swats it back. And penalty try. It is a Utah penalty Warriors. on Houston, and after all the warnings, a penalty, penalty try awarded to Utah. Boy. Desperate to stay comfortably in that number two spot in the West. Oh, big stuff there from Houston at the scrum. Exactly the what the Sabercats Cats needed to do. Not oh, traditionally the man putting boot to ball and a chance for Utah. Loops on the other way. Somehow able to reach back and get that one. I thought for all the world it was going to be turned over. Jensen. Jensen. Again, all six foot seven with that long stride, eating up some ground, the pride of Scranton, PA. Ivoca finally surging ahead up to Pangelina. 
not the support there for Houston. And now a big chance for Houston. That what was a shift. Style. Warriors unable to capitalize on being up a man, now find themselves down. Malolo came in a few minutes hold back. And at Hooker, that'll certainly factor in here on these lineouts. Both up and the outside. All right, so Vasca is a free man as the no longer a numbers advantage. Vasca out of the sim bin. Mullen just getting off up the turf and Coveda there with a the big shove, but no cards handed out. We've already seen a pair, neither side able to score with a numerical advantage. And by the time he could get the headset on, the broadcast was having to sign off. But uh, I know he wanted to give a shout out. Uh, what an impressive individual we mentioned. Works as a special ed teacher full time. Uh, he's just yeah, a really incredible person. You see him out there on the pitch, an absolute animal, a beast. Cool, cool. Fantastic rugby player and a great representative. Tovao was finally able to pick it up. Utah on their feet, surging forward. Fisher able to free it up to your new fullback, Ryan Fale. Five meters away, Cruze eyeing the try. And he does dot it down. Utah with its first score of the second half and its largest lead here in Houston. Came off the bench last week. Looks to go the distance here today. You give a ton of credit to Basket. In the right place, he ran a yep. fantastic support line. Basket was there. He saw Cruze open. Crouch. This is Houston scrum, but pinned five. back on their own five. Early. At the moment, Utah is just looking at the four points for a win. There would be no try bonus unless they can sneak one in here in the final seconds before we hear the final whistle. That's what Utah has in mind right now. Good, no, no, that's fine. Looking for that fourth try and the extra bonus point that would come with it on the table. And release. Okay, enough five. The surge from Malolo. Yeah, it's advantage. Three meters out. Utah's playing with an advantage. Tucci. On the line. Still two and a half meters shy of the finish line. Uhila, a meter out. As they look to Van Vuren. And Van Vuren is in. A fourth try will make it a fifth point for Utah. As they will go to sleep tonight, knowing that they are still very much among the favorites to be playing in the postseason this year in Major League Rugby. They were patient. They went through the phases. Van Vuren looks like he bobbled it, able to hold on. The big number eight powers through the leg drive across it. That'll do it for the Warriors. They come to town, pick up their ninth win on the season, and more importantly, continue to distance themselves from the third best team.